All right, it's that time of year where most likely you're having to go back and see friends and family and people you haven't seen a lot. And you can either maybe feel self-conscious about your own body or a little worried to be around diet talk, body shaming, anything in that world. So this video is going to show you how to navigate those difficult situations and really set you up for an enjoyable holiday. Okay, so when I was struggling, when I would go home, um, I would be really nervous. Even though my family was really loving, there were other people in my family who um, were always on diets, there was talks about diets, I'd feel insecure eating in front of them. If I wasn't eating something healthy, I'd feel like I was being judged for the size of my body. Whether I lost weight, people would comment on how great it looked. If I gained weight, no one would say anything, but I know that people would be thinking and noticing my gain, weight gain, or I at least thought they would, right? So there was so much anxiety going home, going to holiday parties, going to really any party in general. And this video can apply for the holidays or just literally going out in public because body shaming and diet talk happens all the time. So, you know, first things first is I'm always very big and I say this in a lot of my videos on like what we can do before the situation to kind of help build up that resilience because here's the thing, you know, the more secure you are in this department, the less other people's judgments, beliefs, and comments are going to impact you. If someone said something to me now, it would roll off of me. I might get offended and upset with them and correct them because they could say that same thing to someone else and it'd really hurt them, so I could see myself taking a stand, but like a deep, deep hurt would be fairly impossible in this department, and that is because I've built up over a very long time, just more inner peace and connection with myself and, and more beliefs about my worth, not being so dependent on my size. So, you know, this isn't like a quick fix with this one, but building up that resiliency, really shifting your belief systems about yourself, your worth, your ability, your deservingness to take up space, your deservingness to go out into the world and have a good time, no matter what the size of your body is going to be really powerful. And you know, if you're watching this like the day before you have to go to a pressuring situation, you might not be able to switch all your beliefs about your worth overnight. So let's talk about what to do today. And um, you know, doing things that get you and keep you in your power and feeling confident before the situation is really important. And also having some like emergency things you can do in your back pocket will really help you. So for me, and I can think of um, actually Stella on our team, who is our director of coaching. I coached her about six years ago, and she had to go to Greek Easter. And before that, we did. she did her routine in the morning before she went and experienced the family to really put her in her power. So for her, that was a walk, that was her journaling, that was her gratitude, and, and I think she had some other rituals that really supported her. So right now, think about what really supports you and has you feeling connected to yourself, maybe connected to something bigger than yourself, right? Connected to that higher power, whatever that looks like for you, and has you grounded and centered, right? Could be meditation, if you're not kind of into that kind of thing, even just listening to a song and doing some deep breathing and coming back to your center, just like building up that resilience to go out into the environment um, and, and go out just in case anything happens, right? So. This can help you before a party and a high triggering situation and honestly every day in life because let's face it, these comments and things people say and belief and diet culture, like it's not going anywhere at least for at least at least right now. Um, we're on the path for it, right? More acceptance is happening. And right now, um, there's still some of that there. So we want to build up that resilience within ourselves. And then also in the moment, what are those little mini practices you can take with you in case you do get triggered and upset? You know, I literally would sometimes walk to the bathroom and do deep breathing exercises if I got overwhelmed in a situation. Um, you know, really finding your center. A beautiful exercise to find your center is to connect with yourself and um, you know, just close your eyes and breathe. And every time you exhale, and you can kind of put your hand here on your center, every time you exhale, you know, really picture kind of like a ball of light expanding. And every time you inhale, it contracts. And as you exhale, the light gets bigger. And then as you inhale, it contracts. And you exhale, it gets bigger. And kind of visualize this like 
calming light and love coming over your whole body. And you can literally do this at the dinner table while someone's being a jerk, or you can walk away to a guest room or bathroom. Like you're, you're able and you have sovereignty to take yourself out of a situation. And I think that's something really big I had to kind of recondition my mind with is like, hey, I'm safe and I'm okay. And I can create safety for myself in any environment that I'm in. So let's say, People around you are either commenting on what you're eating, commenting on someone else's body, making comments about yours, or you're just uncomfortable in general because you're in uh, your own head. I'll give you a couple things to do right now. Um, one simple one is take yourself out of the situation and do some of those centering techniques. Or, um, you know, for me, sometimes I used to keep ear, like my Bluetooth ear pods in my, in my pocket. And if I would get overwhelmed, I would just like put one in, play a song and like slow myself down. So anything to just kind of slow and calm yourself. Um, and if you don't have the space or the energy to do that, just get out of the environment for a second and, and kind of change the scenery. You know, that's, that's one option. The other option is to stay in the environment and do kind of your regulating techniques to calm yourself in that moment. And if you're going to stay in the environment or regardless of what you do, I want you to remember a couple of things. Hurt people hurt people, right? No one who's at peace with their food or at peace with their body or on this peaceful, easy journey with their weight would ever comment on your body or someone's in a mean, negative way. No one who is in a good place with this stuff, who doesn't have a little struggle, a little fear, a little insecurity, a little low self-worth connected to their weight, would talk about these things in front of others. They would have enough common sense to know and enough freedom in their own world that that's not how they're viewing people. So these comments actually don't mean anything about you. They are, you know, that person kind of projecting out their own inner struggles, their own insecurities, and their own, you know, battles, so to speak. So if someone's in that place around me, I don't take what they say personally. Instead, I'm like, wow, what's this person dealing with or going through where they feel it's okay to say something like this? And that helps me have a little more empathy and compassion, right? So that's an option for you. And then the other option is to take a stand. And you could take a big stand or a little stand. So a little stand would be just kind of like a one-liner, shrug it off. A big stand would be like, hey, this is how that comment impacted me. And this has me feel this way and this way. And what would be more supportive for me and other people who have dealt with this before would be blank. So, you know, saying this made me feel this way, I don't wanna feel that way, I know you care about me, I know that wasn't your intention. What would really support me and others in the future is this. You can have those kind of conversations in the moment if something happens, or after to kind of let someone know what they're doing because most people will have no idea that they're bothering you or actually before. You know, I've had to set boundaries with people. Um, one, one person in particular um, around this kind of stuff when I was on my healing journey and I would just ask like, hey, I've been on a really good path with this and when there's a lot of diet talk and there's a lot of body focus around me, it gets me feeling insecure, it makes me feel sad, it makes me feel like I'm being judged, it makes me feel triggered. You know, what can we do to just try to keep that out of the environment this holiday and just like focus on each other and focus on connecting and so forth. And most likely if that person is in your life and cares about you, they're gonna be on your team there, right? So you're not attacking them for what they're saying, you are just setting a boundary and you're kind of partnering with them like, hey, what can we do about this? How can we not let this happen so everyone's really comfortable? And especially if you say how something makes you feel, a lot of people will open up more and wanna support you. So I hope this helps. Um, last but not least is just being present and connected and focusing on other things besides the food, besides the com you know, besides the combos you don't like. Like looking around and saying, hey, maybe this person has this limited view here, but how do they contribute in my life in another way? What am I grateful for at this dinner table? Can I go play with my nephew or niece or, or kid outside and just shake these comments off and go have a good time? You know, how do I connect with others even if their beliefs aren't the same as mine? So, 
I know I just gave you a lot. You might wanna go back and take notes through that, but I hope it helped. I know this time of year and really just anything in public around family and friends can be tricky if you've gained and lost weight or struggled with food, so I hope this helps. I'd love to hear from you in the comments actually. Is there any tools or techniques that stuck out to you that will support you in this video for the holidays or any event you might have to go to? Um, if you can leave me in that comment, I'd love to know what was really helpful. And also too, if you need help beyond this video, we do have a really amazing training that will help support you from breaking out of these struggles with how you feel about your body and really going into this place of freedom and ease. So make sure you click the link around this video either in the description or the post to get that training and I will see you in the next video. The training that I have in the description just below this video or the link, just click someplace around this, that training is going to be what supports you with getting there.